Long ago, even before the dawn of Art Attack, in a deep ocean lived the ruler of the seas, Triton. I am the all-powerful ruler of the seas, and this is my scepter, the source of all my power. <sighs> the sea's a bit rough today, so how about some calm sea? Ah, hmm, and, uh, maybe a brighter day. Yes, much better. Oh, I think it's that time. Yes, I think Art Attack's about to start. You know, I really wish I could be in the studio for that show. I just love it so much. Wow, he may not have got his wish, but look, I've still got the scepter. Now, a scepter is something often carried by a great ruler as the sign of power. I think it looks a bit like a giant fork. But looking at this powerful scepter, who would have thought that it had such humble beginnings? Yes, it really does start off life like this. Watch closely as the transformation begins. Cut the carpal tube lengthwise like this. Roll it up, pressing it tightly with your hands. Now make sure it's the right size for the plastic bottle cap, like this one. Tape it on both ends and in the middle. Repeat this three more times, so you have four of them of equal size. Then trim one here a little. It should look like this. Start by joining these two tubes together. Put some tape in the crease, then add the other one. When you've got the three tubes attached together, add the cap on the upper part. Use as much tape as you need. And lastly, add the smallest tube, the one you trimmed a little, to the cap. Ooh. 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 Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's a bit like a walking stick. Now, I'm going to show you how to make the trident part of the scepter. For that, you'll need some cardboard. So, get ready to put it all together. Draw the trident on a sheet of thick cardboard. Start with the outline, which looks like a big oval shape. And then do the three points. The one in the middle is like an arrow going straight up, and the ones on the either side are curved, just like this. Get an adult to help with the cutting out. You'll end up with this shape. Set it on another piece of cardboard and trace the outline with a pencil but only draw the two outside prongs. You don't have to draw the middle one. Now match up the lines here, then cut it out. You'll have one part with three prongs and the other one with two. Make another one with two prongs. Then put the three pieces together. First, put some glue on in the middle piece and glue on one of the parts with the two prongs on, like this. Turn it over now and do the same thing with the other piece. Put some glue on and then press quite hard to make sure it's stuck on tight. Lastly, tape the trident onto its pole and don't be afraid to use as much tape as you need. That's looking good. Wow! So now we have the two parts of the scepter joined together. The handle, made out of cardboard tubes, and the magnificent fork part, the trident. We'll give it a bit of colour very soon. But first, let's make sure our scepter is really strong. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Cover the whole piece with Art Attack paste, which is a mixture made up of half glue and half water. Then stick on strips of newspaper. Start on the trident and then continue down until you're finished. When it's dry, we can give it some colour. The trident has to shine brightly in the sea, so we'll use this bright yellow. Once it's dry, add a slightly darker shade of yellow to give it depth. To shade it, we'll use a light brown. Dab a small wet brush on the paint and blot it on a cloth so it will have just the right amount of paint on it. And to finish, here's an artist's tip. By using the same technique, you can apply white paint to get a brighter, shiny finish. That looks very professional. Isn't it fabulous? Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more Disney Junior shows, click here. To watch more Art Attacks, click here. Of course, you can subscribe by clicking this button down here. We'll see you soon and stay creative.